Good afternoon. And this is the Reverend Dr. Nicole McDonald bringing you your spiritual lift. Last week, we talked about expectations. And we talked about how it's important to communicate our expectations of others clearly, concisely, and honestly. And this week, we're going to talk about the other side of the coin, and that is our standards. If you think about it, when we have expectations of others, we're putting the responsibility of change on them. But when we focus on our own standards, we're putting the responsibility of change on us. Let me give you this brief example. As a child growing up, my mother had the standard that her house was to remain clean. And with that standard came the expectation of her children that her children will maintain a clean room. Now, as you can imagine, I was not a child that kept a clean room. And so me and my mother, we would argue and go back and forth. And sometimes she would even ground me saying that I couldn't go outside until I cleaned my room. When I became a teenager, my mom decided that every time she walked past my room and she looked in and if the room was not clean, she would not argue, she would not fuss, she would just close the door. Now, I know that there are some times in life where we are choosing to stay in relationships with people and places uh, by lowering our expectations, by walking past the dirty room and just closing the door. But there are many times in life where I believe that God is challenging us to be reflective and to evaluate the situation and not necessarily lower our standards, but to reimagine who we are and who we are in God. Because I believe that our standards come from who we believe God is and who we believe we are in God. And I'll give you this example in my own life, that when I changed careers, when I went from engineering to ministry, many people thought that I was lowering my professional standard. But as a woman of faith, I was not lowering my standard, that I had reached a point in life where I had to reimagine what God was calling me to do, reimagine who I was in God, and reimagine who God was to me. And some of us are in that place right now in quarantine where we're thinking about things and uh, considering how to reset our lives. Once I read a really good quote on standards from Candace Benbow's Instagram. And what she said was that we have to be careful about lowering our standards because when we settle, we're not just settling for that one thing, but we're settling for everything on that frequency. That's a powerful quote. So in this quarantine, my prayer is that we're taking the time to pause, to reflect and to think. And that if there are relationships with people, places and things in which we have lowered our standard to maintain those relationships, my prayer is that we reimagine who we are and who God is and we maintain a high standard and we're able to pivot and make those necessary changes to become the people that we want to be and to reach our dreams and our goals that are set before us. This is Nicole McDonald bringing you your spiritual lift.